Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be actually super chill and I'm not really sure how I'm going to structure it. I don't know if I'm going to stay at my desk the entire time or if I'm going to be moving around. I have for you 10 steps on how to self-publish your novel from start to finish. Um, it's just the top, very top uh, steps on what you need to do. In the weeks to come, I'm going to go more in depth into each of these steps. But for now, these are the 10 steps that you need to start thinking about if you want to self-publish your novel. So before we jump into today's video, like I said, this is going to be very, very first steps. So if you want to learn more about what's inside each of these steps like more in depth make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because i will be uploading it going forward i'm not sure exactly when but obviously if you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell you'll know exactly when the video goes up not to mention if you want to go back through my channel and watch some of the videos that i've already talked about regarding these topics it will also help you in your journey to self-publishing. So let's get started. I have my notes right here. And I'm going to start off with the very first obvious step. And that is that if you want to self-publish a book, if you want to become an author, the very first thing you need to do is you need to write your book. I mean, I know it's obvious, but there's no point in starting to look up publishing companies and the cost of self-publishing and all these things that come with self-publishing if you haven't even written your book. My advice is to first focus on that and as you start nearing the end of that process that's when you can start thinking about you know everything that it takes to self-publish. When I first started this channel, I did do a video on how to write a book for beginners and there's a bunch of steps and there was a free downloadable there that you can still get if you're signed up for my uh, newsletter, you can get that checklist. Uh, it's free, all you have to do is sign up for the newsletter and you can get that checklist. But going forward, I'm going to dive in a little more on this topic of how to write a novel and all the things that it takes to actually write a novel. So like I said, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. Step number two might seem also a little obvious, but I think a lot of people don't realize that it's not just about writing a novel, but you also need to edit that novel. And editing is not just your rounds of edit. I'm very, um, I am a very big proponent of professional editing because I made that mistake with my first novel, more than words can say, and I did not send that book to be professionally edited. Um, my book, Falling For You, went through like three, three or four, three, three rounds of professional editing. And even still, I was able to find some things, not in the last round, the last round, I think it's fine. The first two rounds, the editor that I hired, just, I should have done my research more. I, I believed a company that I, you know, that I found and it wasn't recommended by anyone. I just believed their credentials. I sent in, I paid twice for them to edit the novel and I don't believe it was, to its full potential as it is now. So um, again, between us, it's going through, at least the professional editing part of it, it's gone through two professional editing rounds, uh, not to mention the beta readers, not to mention my critique partner, and all the edits that I have done myself on that book. But again, I will go more in depth on that video, on that topic in future videos. So step number three, now that you're actually done writing the book, you're done editing the book, and you are ready to start thinking about self-publishing, the next thing you need to start writing is all the things that go inside the actual book right because it's not just writing the book there's certain things that go inside this uh your book that you're trying to self-publish so the next step is writing the copyright page 
that is very simple. You can actually look online. They are, they have many different uh, free templates that you can download and insert in your manuscript so that you can do that. Step number four, if you want to self publish a book, the next thing you need to do is write your acknowledgement page. This is optional. You don't necessarily need to do it, but it is recommended. Um, not recommended. It's just, you know, everybody does it. So I'm sure you have people that you want to thank your family, your friends, your beta readers, your critique partner, your editor, your agent, whoever it is that you want to thank. This is a great place for you to do it. The next few steps are actually optional, just like the previous step of needing to write an acknowledgement page that is actually optional. But, um, again, I think you should do it, but that's just me. So step number, let's see, number five is consider whether or not you want to create an LLC for your company for your publishing world you know are you going to continue publishing books are you going to do it just for yourself are you going to publish for other people are you going to become a, pu a publisher in, in a sense so the things that you need to consider about becoming a publishing company I will touch on in a different video but for now those are things that you need to start thinking about do you want to publish your books under your name or do you want to publish them under a company name the next thing you need to start considering is considering whether or not you are going to buy ISBN numbers all books require you to have an ISBN number you need to decide if you're going to buy the ISBN numbers or if you're going to allow the print on demand companies to provide you one for free and in a sense that means that they become your publisher more on that in later videos but for now that's something that you can start thinking about whether or not you want to become the publisher of your books or if you're going to allow another person to be the publisher I for one right now have allowed KDP to be my publisher. I have not found any problems with that. Um, I think in the future, definitely, I will be creating my publishing company and I will be ordering my own ISBN numbers. I think it's just easier for tracking purposes. But for now, that's all you need to know for now. Start thinking about whether you want to start, you know, a, a publishing company and order the ISBN numbers through them or, um, through with that name or if you want to let the print on demand companies like Ingram Spark and KDP become the publisher of your book. The next thing you need to think about is hiring a cover designer. It is very important to hire someone that's professional that knows design graphic to design the cover of your book. It's not as simple as you think it is and creating a professional cover um, is a little pricey. I am fortunate that my son is a cover um, he designs my covers for me. He is a design artist. I will leave his information in the description box below for you guys if you want to reach out to him. Um, but he has designed all my covers for me and I am thrilled with the job that he does. And so that is definitely something that you need to start thinking about is creating, uh, hiring a cover designer. The next thing you need to think about is hiring a person to format the inside of your book um, although again this one is optional because you can format the novel yourself you don't have to hire someone to do it but if you are not comfortable doing that if you're not really savvy computer savvy or just you know familiar with word and, and just all the things that you need to do in order to make the novel stand out properly then it, it might be better for you to hire a person to format your novel usually the companies that do this that do the cover design they also have a package where it includes format if you have not watched my video on how much does it cost to self-publish make sure you check it out i have a lot of information on there regarding cover design designers and formatters and how much it could potentially cost you to upload through kdp versus ingram spark so make sure you check that video out the next thing you need to start thinking about and this is already step number nine is consider which print on demand company you're going to upload to. The video that I just mentioned on how much does it cost to self publish your book. In that video, I touch on print on demand companies and all the differences, but I am going to be doing an, uh, a new video on that topic because I've learned a lot of things recently. At the time when I did that video, I hadn't yet ever uploaded to Ingram Spark and now I have. So now I have a feel for both companies 
um, KDP and Ingram Spark, not to mention Barnes and Noble Press and Kobo and Google Play. So make sure that you stay tuned because I think that video on the differences between the print on demand companies is definitely going to help you if you're trying to self publish your book for the first time. And finally, another step that you need to take before you do anything else, before you hand it over to the cover designer, is that you need to make sure that your back blurb is completely written. Obviously, they cannot do your cover without the back blurb, so you have to make sure that you have it all written and is all nice and tidy before you hand it over to your cover designer. So yeah, you guys, those are 10 things that I think you need to start thinking about if you want to self-publish your book for the first time. Um, make sure you look through my channel. I have a lot of videos on writing and publishing that I think will help you if you're if you've never self-published before or if you're just starting your journey out on writing. Make sure that you look through the videos to see if there's anything else there that can help you. Remember that I will be posting additional videos on all these topics. I dive a little more into each of these things to help you really, really get to from one point to the next so that you don't miss a beat. I just wanted to mention one last thing before I let you guys go. If you are in the middle of writing a book, then I highly encourage you to order my book companion journal. I love this book so much uh, it's such a great tool for us writers it is basically um if you have missed any of my videos and you don't know what this is all about this is a my book companion journal for writers and in essence it's a tool to help you not only stay on track with the current book that you're writing meaning you have your notes you can track your progress but it also helps you Stay in the right frame of mind while you're writing your book. And we do this by first preparing for mindful writing. Uh, there are prompts here that ask you things that remind you of all your good qualities. I know a lot of us as writers can be really hard on ourselves. And the more negatively we speak about ourselves and the process of writing and publishing and just we can get so down on ourselves that sometimes it can be hard to sit down and write. This is why I created this journal because if we first set our mind right about ourselves and our writing process, our writing process will be better. So if you have not gotten your copy yet, I encourage you to do it, especially if you're just starting out and you're just starting to write your novel or your third novel, this is a great writing tool for you. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or any topics that you would like me to uh, take on in the next couple weeks. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all your writerly friends. And remember to subscribe again on your way out. Until next time, stay safe.